Welcome back subscribers and hello YouTube viewers. On this occasion, we are off to a small township called, I'll give it my best shot, Kolbeinabind, is what I believe is the way it's pronounced. Um, but I'll refer it to the township. Kolbeinabind is a small town in central Victoria, Australia, and is just over two hours north of the city of Melbourne. The name is derived from Aboriginal meaning, the meeting of black and red soils. Way back in 2011 census, the population was 297. Located on the banks of Cornella Creek, the township was first settled in 1850. The township was established in the 1870s, the post office opening on the 9th of August, 1872. In the 1930s, the area had a significant change with the construction of the Wargana Mallee Channel, which bisects the town. Irrigation altered land use to the north of the town and to this day has made it very productive farmland. Cereal cropping and livestock production has been very important industries in the township area. Since the late 1960s, tomatoes have been produced for processing into sauces and pastes. A local company has also specialised in semi-dried tomatoes for the export market. The Rushworth railway line was a short branch line used predominantly for grain traffic which branched off the Goulburn Valley line at Murchison East and it opened in September 1890. The railway line was eventually extended to Colbinabin, opening in August 1914 and a branch from Rushworth to Gurgari opened in May 1917. Then the uh, line to Gurgari was closed back to Stanhope in 1975 and the remaining sections were all closed off, including this township in October 1987. Colbinabin in recent years has been a boom in wine growing and a substantial number of vineyards have been established in the area especially along the Mount Camel range. Now I came along that, uh, that range and I can tell you it just goes on for acre after acre after acre of vineyards. And the predominant type of wine they're growing is Shiraz. Um, and it's part of the Heathcote wine region. Now moving on to the Colbinabin Silo art. It was painted by a Tim Botel in March 2020. Starting from the left to the right, it depicts, number one, the early Colbinabin farmers picnic of the late 1800s to the early 1900s. Number two is the train and railway station with grain and fertilizer that was transported from this exact spot. Number three, you'll have the Lulu, the circa 1950 local country fire authority, CFA, fire truck. And finally, number four, the annual tractor pull event in the town that attracted over 22,000 people in the 1980s. So without further ado, let's look at Colbinabin. And I hope I pronounced that correctly.
Just a quick tip for motorcyclists and also for vehicles, if you're travelling at the speed limit and you can see in your rear view mirror someone catching up quite quickly, I think the safest option for your own personal safety is just to pull over, let them go. If they're going to uh, obviously break the speed limit, um, just let them go. So here we are coming to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, by all means, give us that thumbs up. Please subscribe, it doesn't cost a cent, and it really does help out the channel. Um, but more importantly, stay safe, commute safe, and have a really great day.